Hey everybody, we're going to do things just a little bit different um, in this Inferencing Detective Series Episode 9. Um, for the next few episodes, I think we're going to just do one picture and we're going to gather clues from that one picture and dig a little bit deeper into what's going on in the picture. Okay, so we're still going to inspect the setting. That's where we are. But then we're going to talk about how the person in the picture is feeling and why they might be feeling that way. Okay, so let's get to it. Here is our setting and our picture. Maybe. There we go. Um, okay, so what's our setting? Are we inside? Are we outside? Where are we? Uh, so, obviously, we're outside. Or this little girl is outside. Um, we got to look at how she's feeling. And we're just going to go on our clues that way, okay? So, our setting is we are outside. Clue number one. How does she feel? Look at her face. If she's doing this... How do you think she feels? Is she happy? Is she sad? Is she excited? Um, is she frustrated? How does she feel? You can either tell me or you can write it down or you can just draw her face, but we have to realize it and we have to see how she feels. Next, clue number two is I want you to look at her hands. Does she have, is she holding anything? You have to look, because if you look right here, it looks like she's holding something. What do you think she could have been holding? Clue number three. I want you to look how she is sitting. Okay, did she fall? So now we really need to dig deep. Like, we need to know why she's feeling that way. And there are so many reasons. And there aren't, I mean, you can't say, oh, she's super happy because she has six flags. That's obviously wrong. But we really have to dig deep on how, why she's feeling that way. And there are no wrong answers. If you know how she feels, there are no wrong answers to why she's feeling that way. Okay? So let's talk about it. She is obviously upset. I. Uh, she looks like she is about to cry or she is already crying. Um, some guesses or some inferences that you could come up with is uh, this could have been a balloon string and her balloon went away. Um, another inference could be she fell backwards um, and this whatever is in her hand is what tripped her and so she's mad at it. Um, there could be so many other things. I want to know what y'all came up with, okay? So either write it down or talk to me about it. And that concludes Episode 9. Bye, guys.